Hey guys and welcome to sunny Phuket. Since my recent videos on Instagram and YouTube, check them out. I've had a lot of people saying, what should you not do in Phuket? Now this is going to be a video where I'm not holding back. I hope my parents aren't watching because I'm going to tell you everything that you shouldn't do in Phuket. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'll show you how to get accommodation for under £15 a night. Number one, don't hire a scooter unless You've ridden a scooter before in a different country, in an Asian country, like Vietnam, for example. Scooters are really, really dangerous. And a lot of people actually get in a lot of trouble over here on scooters. But here's something you probably didn't know. Your travel insurance will, will not cover you if you have an accident on a scooter. Most travel insurances are really cheeky. And if you don't look at the blueprint, you'll notice that they say you're not covered. Also, if you have an accident over here, it's your fault no matter what. Even if someone goes into the back of you, you have to pay. It's a foreigner thing, I don't know why to do it. So just be careful if you're gonna hire one. You can get them for around about 200 baht and always negotiate. There was one I was looking at yesterday. I wanted 300 a day, but I got it down to 200 baht a day, which is about five pounds a day, six dollars. So just be careful. Number two. You can legally smoke marijuana here, but you can't smoke it outside. If you're gonna do it, do it at home. Or in a cafe where they let you do it, where you can buy it. The fine's about a thousand baht, which you just don't wanna get. Sometimes it's more. So just don't smoke it outside. Or don't smoke it at all. Number three. This might seem obvious, but don't get into a fight with a local. This concept is the same throughout Asia. But if you get in a fight with a local, you're not gonna win. Why? because they will all gang up on you, no matter what. So just don't do it, just avoid it. If you're over here causing fights and starting trouble, you will end up in either, either prison or not in a good way. So always pay your bar tab and don't start fights with locals. Number four, if you're gonna try mushroom shakes over here, do them not at a place where there's a lot of people. Mushroom shakes are fun and they make you hallucinate and do some crazy stuff. And you really don't want to be in a busy place like a nightclub or a big pub when you do them. Or if you do, make sure you go home straight after. Otherwise you might find yourself really embarrassed yourself, throwing up and doing stuff that you know you just don't want to do. Number five, never buy anything from the first price. Almost everything in Phuket is negotiable, except for in the 7-Eleven and pharmacy and stuff like that. But any market, even massages are actually negotiable. Drinks aren't at a bar, but even scooters. Of course, restaurants aren't, unless they're street food. Sometimes it is, but there's no harm in asking. You know, you could always ask to see if you can get the price down and you'd be, you'd be surprised. So never take the first price and always negotiate. And number six, don't try street food unless you've been drinking your yakults. What's yakult? You probably know what yakult is. They're those little bottles you can get and they are like a vaccine against the bacteria you get over here in the water. And this brings me onto the same one, which is don't drink the water. That should be more likely number six. Don't drink the water, especially when you brush your teeth. The water's got, it's full of bacteria. So when you brush your teeth, just put the toothpaste onto the brush don't put it under the water. It's, it's hard because it's normally a habit that most people do, but you can't put that water in your mouth. And if you're in the shower and you've got your mouth open, same concept. So with the street food side of it, unless you've got the immunity, you probably will be sick. But if you drink Yakult's before you go at least seven days, that normally does help. I met a lady here who's been drinking Yakult's for two years and she's never been sick and she's been here for two years I think she said. So that wraps up the main reasons, well sorry, that wraps up the things you should not do in Phuket. Now let me show you how to get cheap accommodation. Hey, this is my place. Now it's pretty close to town, it's only a 10 minute walk, but you can get a scooter. And this place only costs 14 pounds a night, which is about $17 a night. If I can find my key, voila. So this place, See, I've got my Japanese books. I'm studying Japanese. Oh, she's brought me some new towels. What a legend. This place is only $17 or 14 pounds. Let's get everything you need, including a balcony. Ooh, not much to see out here, but it's nice. So if you've got this far, I travel the world and I do this stuff all the time. So I know how to find really, really cheap deals because I prefer to stay in a place for a little bit longer. So like two weeks in one place and I move on to the next city or the next place where I want to do something. So for a place like this, I think it's pretty good. I mean, most places over here are very expensive. I, I met someone yesterday who's paying 80 pounds a night and it's pretty much the border the same sort of thing. So get a pen and paper ready, write this down, and please subscribe if you've got this far because this will save you a ton of money if you're traveling as well. Go onto Google and when you're in the, the location in Phuket, for example, type in Phuket Hotel. Then all you need to do is sort by using the sort at the top, sort by 
the lowest price and then you can go through the lowest prices on Google. Sounds pretty sim simple, but it is literally that simple. And then you just go through and see which ones have air conditioning. Never go in a room with just a fan. It's way too hot. You always need air con. Find a cheap place. Sometimes I'll actually ring them up beforehand and see if I can do a deal. Same with cash. If I come in on cash, I get like seven days. Can I have it for this much? And they normally say, yeah, surprisingly. Or when you actually arrive, you can pay by cash instead of actually doing the booking. When I was living in Turkey for a bit, I used to just go into places and always go up to them and say, look, it's this much online, and then can we do it cheaper in cash? And it would normally be like that. That wraps up my video anyway, the do things not to do in Phuket. Please subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.